In this video I'm going to show you how to create a staging site with a WordPress. Now if you don't know what is a staging site then uh, small explanations. A staging site is a clone of your live website. And why would you need it? Well basically it enables you to test any changes or major new features that you plan to implement in a secure environment. So basically if you would like to test whether all the updates and improvements are working without messing with the live site, then you need a staging site. And this is the reason I'm going to show you today how to do that. If you're interested, then jump in because it's going to be a fun ride. Now you have two options. I'm going to show you both of them. First of them is free but limited and the other one is premium version with much more options for you to use. But as I said, I'm going to show you both of them. So let's go to the plugins, add new and search for WP Vivid, this one here. Install and activate it. And after that, you'll see WP Vivid backup menu on your left. Now let's go to the backup and restore, open it up. And before I start showing what you can do up here, let's go to the pro version because I would like to show you what are the differences over there. The pro version costs $49 for two domains. You don't have stagings and white label for it and you don't have the roles and capabilities options. If you would like to also have the staging and other options then freelancer is the best option up to 10 domains $69 per year but there is also a lifetime option. For example I have a 10 domain lifetime license. Now if you're interested then take a look at the description of this video there is a discount coupon for you it's a 20% discount so if you would like to get all those plans with a discount then use my coupon and use my link this way you can support the channel. Now I'm gonna go to one of my empty sites I'm gonna install a pro version by just uploading it and installing it. Now I'm gonna activate it and there you go. First I need to enter the license and the license is under my account and licenses. I'm gonna copy it and paste it here, activate and after that I can select which modules I would like to be activated. Backup Pro of course, Image Optimization Pro add-on since I'm gonna upload images to my site then yes of course I'm gonna optimize images. I'm gonna show you later what you can do with it. Staging, I'm going to do that also. White label, I'm not going to install this one. And I don't use the roles and images, but in order to show you what is what, I'm going to install them in this video. So let's install. It's going to take uh, approximately 30 seconds or so. After it's done, I'm going to be re redirected to the dashboard. It contains all the shortcuts to the most used options over, the, over here. So let's start comparing pro and free version. Pro version has a separate menu here. Settings, let's take a look at them. Free version has this option here. Let's open it up. So for free version, there is an option to create a staging site or create a fresh WP site. For pro version, you can select the file sizes, file copy count and so on. It allows you to speed up the staging process because if the site is big or your web hosting has a limited resources then it may be stalled but here you can select what is what also you can select whether anyone can visit the staging site or not i would not suggest you to do that because staging site is the one you're testing your updates or, or so on so let's go to the staging sites on pro version create a staging site create a fresh wordpress site here I can customize staging site and the same for free version. Let's give it a name, local site. Here goes the database prefix that will be added to the staging site database. I can share the same database with your live site. It's recommended, so do that. Or you can install it in other database, then enter your credentials here. Choose what to copy to the staging site. For the free version, you can't choose what are copied to the staging site. All your site will be copied. That means database files and so on. But for the pro version, you can choose what to copy and what not. If you want to create a fresh WordPress site in the custom directory, then you can do that. But I'm not going to show it in this video. 
One more thing, I'm going to add the live site as a name for the staging site, for the live server site I'm going to create. Pro version allows me to choose whether to use subdomain, add the folder to the WP content folder, or I'm going to use the website root. Free version does not have the subdomains feature. So if I have a subdomain, I can't use the free version for it, but pro version allows me to do that. Okay. So let's create the site and see how does it work. Create now. Okay. It's for the pro version. And now for the free version, which is in my local host site. Depending on your site, it may take time. So I'm going to pause for a minute. So the creating the staging site is finished and it took approximately nine to 10 minutes for both sites. I forgot to tell you before that uh, if you're using any caching plugin, then uh, disable them before creating the staging site. Now, this is a pro version. As you see, it's a staging site URL here and backend address here. So let's log in. And same for a free version. Here is a home address for the staging site. And this is a backend login. After logging in, you, you'll see this orange bar here, which clearly states that it is a staging site. Now let's make some modifications here. For example, I'm going to create a post just for testing. I'm going to upload one image as a featured image here. This one, I'm going to publish it and done. So let's imagine that I have finished my work on my staging site. Now let's copy all the modification we did on the staging site to the back to the live site. In order to do so, I have to go back to the live site itself. This is for the free version back to the staging. And there is a copy the staging site to live. And it's a pro feature. That means you can't do that with a couple of clicks. Also, you can't update it, but you can delete it. But for the pro version, if I click on copy the staging site to live, then I can choose whether to copy everything or custom content. So what did I do? I created a post. That means I have a database query. I'm going to leave the database as it is. And I'm going to exclude teams, WordPress core. But since I uploaded the file, I'm going to leave the WP content out, but uploads in. So. If everything is done, I'm going to click on copy now. OK, it starts working. After the job is done, as you see, there is a pushing the staging site to live site completed successfully. I'm going to click OK. Now let's see whether the post is here. Just for testing, let's see. Yeah, it's there with an the image. So done. Next, let's take a look how to delete the staging site. But first, I have to log into the database to show you something. As you see, all the database tables, starting with the WP Vivid Stage 02, those are the database tables created for this staging site. If I delete the staging site, they will automatically will be deleted. And if I go to the server, as you see, this is my website root. There is a my staging site. The folder is created by the plugin. So let's delete the staging site. For the pro version, go to the staging sites and click on delete and then OK. And for the free version, the same, go to the staging site, click on delete and then OK. It's going to take five to 10 seconds for this free version and the same for the pro version. Now let's see what happened in a database. I'm going to refresh it. And as you see, all the database tables are deleted. And if I open up the server, the content from the my staging site is deleted. I have to manually delete this one here. So as easy as that. And this way you can create staging sites for your WordPress. But as you saw, pro version does much more for your site because you can push the modifications from the staging site to live site. You can't do that with a free version. With the free version, you can only create the staging site, test whether everything works or not. And then you have to do the same on your live site. Much easier with a pro version. 
Well, and that's about it. And as you saw, the WP Vivid is basically as a Swiss knife for WordPress backups, restoring, auto migration, and staging site creation. Good plugin available as free and available as pro version. Take a look at the description of this video. There is a 20% discount coupon for you. Now, if you find this video helpful, then give it a poop, press thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and before you go, take a look at the next video you see on screen right now. Meanwhile, take care.